Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, my background is a little bit different because I'm still in Memphis, Tennessee. Hope all you guys are doing well. It's been a little bit since I recorded a video and actually talked to you guys, so I hope all you guys are doing well. Please make sure you like and sub to the channel if you are new and mean a lot, guys. We are covering some major Fortnite news today that all of you are going to want to hear. Guys, keep in mind, at 700 subs, guys, we have a huge we have a huge event planned for you guys. It's going to involve free V-Bucks for you guys, and it's going to be super fun. I'm super excited to do it with you guys. i got a huge page of notes here to get into, you guys. So so let's get into it. As you can see from the title of this video, I think Season 4 of Fortnite is going to be delayed. This is a little bit of a risky prediction, guys, but as you know, I like to do predictions on my channel. But I think it is going to be inevitable. Where's my proof? Let's get into some facts, okay? We have a buttload of skins that still hasn't been released into the item shop, okay? Some of those are Spider-Man, Nick Fury, Black Panther, possibly War Machine, and a few others. We are still waiting on them to be released into the item shop, and they still haven't been released into the item shop, okay? A little bit sketchy. I mean, you could make an argument saying they could pop up in a later season. They very well could. The next thing, we were supposed to see it, maybe a new POI, maybe sort of a Wakanda POI. They might be saving it for later. I'm not positive. So you can't really judge that one quite yet. But right now, we haven't seen it in game. We obviously have seen the statue of, of the Black Panther, but this was supposed to be a larger scale POI. And for anyone who didn't know what Wakanda is, Wakanda was basically Black Panther's home. So that will be very interesting to see if that does happen. Okay, I've got, I'm doing something a little bit different. I saw a Cypher video the other day, and I just want to show you a quick clip of this video to you guys make sure you watch this, this is very important and i think he hits the nail right on the head here season is going to be like a two-part season like everything's not going to be wrapped up in the marvel universe in the fortnite universe uh in just one season i think this is just the beginning of a long story and i feel like season five hello there i feel like see wow he had a gold pump and everything I feel like season five is just going to be a continuation or the second part of this story against Galactus. I feel like we're not going to defeat Galactus necessarily in season four. And season five is going to have huge, huge changes to the game and to the map. Uh, when it's all said and done. Okay, so let's break down a little bit what Cypher's saying here. Cypher was saying that he thinks there's going to be two parts to Season 5, or maybe an extension of some sort to Season 5, or maybe Marvel Season Part 1 or Marvel Season Part 2. We really don't know. Personally, I don't like the idea of having Part 1 and Part 2 of a Marvel season. I think we've had enough Marvel for one season. I think it's time to move on, okay? I'm not bashing the Marvel Universe. I love Marvel, but I just think if you duplicate the season, and, you know, put more superheroes, I think it's gonna get old real quick. I really do. That's my opinion on it. I don't think there should be two Marvel seasons right in a row. I just don't think that's a good idea. The Cypher's theory makes sense. There's not enough time in this season to wrap up all the stuff that I'm gonna mention here in a minute into one season. There's just not. I mean, we're two, three weeks away from season ending. Not even three weeks. Less than two weeks away from season ending. And I feel like there's not enough time to push all this stuff into one season. Like, there's, I just don't see the time frame working out. There might be a two-part Marvel season. It's possible. What one thing they could do, okay, this is, this is, I think, more plausible than a two-part Marvel season. They could have the Galactus event happen, okay? Let's say the Marvel superheroes do not beat Galactus, right? Galactus moves to the next season. You don't have to make that next season, season five, Marvel theme, but you can make that end event about another Galactus battle or something like that. That I would be okay with. I would like to see a recurring villain. That would be really cool. But I would not like to see a second part Marvel season. And honestly, I don't think a lot of you guys would either. I mean, I was talking to a few people on Discord the other night. Not a lot of excitement. Not a lot of excitement. Okay, let's take a look at some statistics real quick. So basically, chapter two. The chapter 2 season, we had chapter 2 season 1, it was delayed. Chapter 2 season 2, it was delayed. Chapter 2 season 3, that was the only one that was not delayed. Chapter 2 season 4, obviously the one we're on right now, that's why I feel like it could be delayed. Let's go over some stuff that has not been added into the game yet. The helicarrier was supposed to start moving, we saw that in little game notes, game patch notes, that the helicarrier was supposed to move around the map, or move to a portion of the map, still hasn't done that yet and we're two weeks away from the end date. Therefore, I could see definitely a delay coming, or maybe maybe they're going to have the Hellcarrier start moving after the event, before the event, something like that. Okay, the Galactus event. This is really cool. I'm excited about this. Epic has confirmed this is the largest event they have created. So right off the bat, we know it's going to be super, super big. If Epic is coming out and saying that it's going to be the biggest event yet, I think that's just confirmation to us as a players that it's going to be one heck of an event. <laughs> it's going to be super fun. I'm super excited for this one. But at the same time, if it's the biggest event, it might take more time to work on the event for the Epic employees. Therefore, another reason why I think it could be delayed. Mystique's new weapons. 
these have been teased literally since September, okay? It's November now. They were added in back in, I think it was September 26th. I think it was added around there into the files, and we still haven't seen anything in-game yet. Yes, we do have time, okay? But then again, we're running out of time really quickly. Also, just as a quick reminder, if you guys need to get those challenges done, make sure you do that because we are running out of time for this season real quick. One more thing I wanted to add in, Venom is coming to the store very soon. As you guys know, we had the Venom tournament yesterday and I heard it was a lot of people had fun with it, so I'm glad to hear that. Let me know if you have you played in the Venom tournament down in the comments. I want to hear what you guys thought of it. But back to what Cypher was saying, I think he hit the nail right on the head. I think there's got to be some sort of extension some sort of part two, there's not enough time to wrap up everything in here, guys. I just don't think so. I really don't. But that's just my thoughts on it. That's my prediction. It's kind of prediction video, but I know you guys like it. Someone sent me a meme the other day. It was like, time's dangerous, got predictions right, and it was like 700 or something, and it was like, time's dangerous, predicted something wrong, it was like zero. So you guys know me. I like to predict stuff, and I do, I'll say I do an okay job at it with Fortnite. So that's kind of my predictions for this, but honestly, I really do think this is going to be delayed, okay? So don't get your hopes up for, I think it's the date is November 30th, because I don't think that's realistically going to happen. That's just my opinion, guys. You guys can all formulate your own opinion, but let me know what you guys think about this video and about my theories about why this will not run on time. But big shout out to Cypher, I wanted to use this quote because I thought he really did, like, wrap it up really well. And thank you all for tuning into this video. I appreciate every single one of you guys. You guys are amazing, and I'll see you all next time.